I made the mistake of coming in to the office one morning happy. Because that's usually all it takes. You know, it's just uh, unlike Ed, who had least the sense to sigh the character before going in. I rode the elevator up, you know, basically without a care in the world. I should have known <laughs> right then. And when I walked in, um, I was greeted with the news that um, some lady from Bloomfield Hills, Illinois, um, there's an article in the paper, I, get the, I can't remember if it was the trades or the, the times, but some lady from um, Bloomfield, Illinois had written a uh, advertiser, you know, about an episode of Married with Children, you know, unhappy, and uh, I think it stopped there. So that was sort of greeted by so, I, you know, um, and that they had gotten the advertiser to pull its product, you know, from Married with Children. And, which I thought was, wow, you know, one, one lady did that, yeah, okay. I still didn't get it, you know, that this was going to be as big as, as, as it was, but we started getting phone calls, you know, um, through the day, you know, about people wanting to know about this. Then we got a phone call from the company that basically issued a gag order that we weren't um, supposed to respond to any of these calls. Now, before we had gotten that gag order, um, we responded to one of these calls. Uh, not me personally, but you know, a couple of the other producers, um, apparently, who a lady had called and said that she was did not like last night's episode, you know, thought it was tasteless, and the other producer said, well, you know, you're, you are free to watch something else, which apparently was not the right answer. I, I guess the right answer was supposed to be, oh, we, we'll cancel the show immediately, man. And because they didn't get that, apparently she was even more upset and called the company, and, you know, that's when things started to come down. Um, the story grew. A couple of other advertisers, you know, pulled their stuff. Um, and the show... Later on, we found out what the lady said she was... the Because she started doing, you know, the morning TV circuit. And talked about the problems that she had. Well, one of the pro apparently the problem that she had was she had her kids. She didn't see the episode, it turned out. She had her kids planted in front of the television and she, while she was on the treadmill in the other room, and the kids kinda saw the episode and she was horrified you know, at what the kids saw. And so this is what started the rampage. Now, naturally, my response to that was, well, why would you take your children, young children, and plant them in front of a television having no idea what's on and be in another room? That's, to me, not bad television. That's bad parenting, which, again, apparently was the wrong answer. <laughs> you know? um, once things got to the network, you know, um, they tried to do, I guess, the politically correct thing. You know, political correctness was beginning to ooze into, like, every facet of television at this point. So their only statement that they would issue publicly is that we stand behind, you know, our, the writers, our show, da, da, da. 
but behind the scenes, they were demanding that we change just about everything about the show. Um, that caused a problem with us um, because not only contractually did that go against things that were previously agreed to, it was just wrong. Um, and that's really what started, unfortunately, the acrimony that became chronic between ourselves and Fox at the time. Um, that's when we found out a lot of things. You know, we found that we did find out that that's when we found out that this wasn't the kind of show they wanted to be a flagship. That's also when we found out from a a runner who will obviously remain nameless that they were holding our fan mail. We were getting fan mail, but unless it was bad, we weren't. It wasn't being forwarded to us because they wanted us to change it. They wanted us to follow. You know the. Uh, the notes and, and the testing results that we got in two years. They wanted us to be father knows best or somehow some version of the Tracy Ullman show done family style. That's what they, they really, really wanted. Um, and this was their, I guess, this was their opportunity, they thought, you know, to get that because now they had a full-blown controversy, at least in their mind. I just thought it was just silly. And first of all, I thought, well, you know, it, at, least it's, at least people are talking about the show now. At least this lady, when she sees a Married with Children shirt, doesn't think that I'm talking about my wife and kids. You know, now they know what it's about. Um, that's good, isn't it? Well, no, apparently not. It wasn't good enough. You know, and uh, that became a problem. Um, we did acquiesce. Be and switch some episodes around. We tried, we tried to do what we considered the least offensive in their eyes, you know, um, episodes first. So we did juggle some things around, but you know, we weren't about to change, you know, the sh the concept of the show. Now, I mean, we were, you know, we were actually happy to finally receive. The notoriety. First of all, I was surprised and actually impressed that one person could do that. But in a way, I'm kind of thankful because you know we are dealing in a country that you know to the, they don't like being told by somebody that lives in a big house in Bloomfield, Illinois, what shows they can and can't and should and shouldn't watch. I'm Fox. I'm re relishing that. But, you know, they didn't play it that way.